Hi, this is Dr. Scott Hoar, and this week's Treatment Tuesday, we're going to be with Amanda Medlock. Amanda is a former volleyball player, and she is a fitness professional at the House of Athletes. So, Amanda, what are you dealing with? I'm primarily dealing with some low back pain. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so we did a full medical history and an examination on Amanda, and now we're going to jump in and see what's going on with her low back. She also mentioned she's having neck stiffness and some headaches as well as some knee stuff. So we'll be looking at a lot of stuff, uh, keeping in mind the lower back is the primary concern today. Uh, okay, so grab in here. Straighten and back as far as you can. Okay. And then back to the starting position. We'll do that three, four, maybe even five times. Okay. Ready, go. Are there particular movements or exercises that, that are really bothersome to it? Um, I would say it's pick, picking stuff up constantly and having to bend over or like get down and like help a client or help an athlete with an exercise. Okay. Um, and then having to get back up again mm -hmm. kind of starts to bother me a little bit. Got it. During your own training, it, does it impact it at all? Yeah. Um, I would say if I go light on deadlifts or light on squats, it doesn't bother me so much. But days when I go a little bit heavier, um, definitely the next day, like I'll wake up and I'm kind of like, uh, it's not feeling so well. It feels really tight. So okay. This little like stint recently where it got, it was days where I was lifting heavy and the next day I would coach and it got so bad to where I would literally like not even want to move as I'm training clients because my back was hurting so bad. So that's like not okay with It had me. to look pretty yeah. strange that you're not moving as, yeah, a, as a trainer. Exactly. Sometimes my neck starts to bother me a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that might have to do with my lower back or it might have to do with me um, sitting down and maybe like staring at a screen or something like that mm -hmm. um, throughout the day. Yeah. And then I played college volleyball, so I've always had knee pain um, just from jumping and landing constantly, that repetitive movement. Mm -hmm. And then um, my hips have always been a little bit tight for the most part, but okay. yeah. All right. So you said recently with the COVID-19 outbreak, you've been doing a lot of training uh, of your clients virtually through the computer. And yeah. then what has that led to with, with your body? My neck hurting from looking at the screen and looking at my phone throughout the day. Mm -hmm. um, I think from staring at the screen a lot, I've actually developed headaches a little bit. Okay. So that's not normal for me. Okay. Yeah. And again. Last one here. Good. Okay. So I'll start just by doing some palpation of your soft tissues. All right. So I'll move stuff around and I'll be feeling for tightness in your neck. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. and that's a little tight. Stiff spot right there. Yeah, I felt that. All right, so I definitely want to do a neck adjustment to this spot right here, okay? Okay. You cool with that? Yeah, I'm cool with it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let it go. Good. Down there, right there. Very good. Oof. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that went pretty smoothly. Good. Okay, so now I'm going to start to do a bunch of different muscle tests, and that, that kind of tells me what area needs to be treated, what areas don't. Okay. Okay. So we'll hold your head right there. What I'm going to do is push your head and your shoulders away from one another. Okay. Don't let me do that. Ready? Go. Perfect. We'll do that same thing on the other side. Pushing apart. Don't let me. Ready? Go. And again. And that's weaker, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll do an adjustment a little lower. Two, three, 
four. Right there. Very good. Hold your head right there. Pushing here and here. Don't let me. Ready? Go. Stronger, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Mm. All right. Make a fist for me. I'm going to push down into the table. When you, we do these muscle tests, you don't win. It's not about winning. It's okay. about resisting whatever pressure I put into it. Okay? Okay. All right. Ready? Go. Again. Pretty good. Any discomfort when you did that? Mm -hmm. Good. Your thumb and your pinky, put them together like that. I'm going to pull them apart. Don't let me. Ready? Go. And oh. again. Not so good, huh? <laughs> All right. So wow. the nerves that control those thumb and pinky muscles, they come out of your neck right around here. Hmm. So I'm going to adjust down there. Yeah, let that drop. Good. Thumb and pinky, pulling apart. Ready? Much stronger. <laughs> cool. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Your elbow in at your side, what I'm going to do is a muscle test where I pull it out like that. Okay. Don't let me do that. Ready? Go. And again. One more time. Go. <laughs> it's not so good. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. You're going to put your right ear on your ear. Right, right palm on your ear. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stick my thumb right in your armpit. I'm going to wrap my hand around your shoulder blade. All right. Take a deep breath. Breathe on out. Yep. Ooh. Very good. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Did you like that one? Did ooh, it sting? That felt weird. Yeah. yeah, it stung a little bit. Okay, I'm going to pull out like that. Don't let me. Ready? Go. Much so stronger, much huh? Good. Wow. Okay, now, good, make a fist. Pushing down. Don't let me. Go. Again. I don't know. It was kind of strong. It was one kind, more time. Of, kind of weak, wasn't it? <laughs> Pushing down. Don't let me. Ready? Go. Am I surprising you? No. Like the speed of it? No, I just feel Pushing like... Pushing down. Ready? Go. One more time. No, I don't like it. Okay. All right. So we'll do a little adjustment right over here. So that's your coracobrachialis muscle, which supports your shoulder. Make a fist, pushing down. I think that was stronger. I think it was a little stronger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What I'm going to do now, that same muscle, because we're not sure, it, it uh, attaches right up there at the AC joint. So I'm going to give you a little adjustment there. Good. Fist, pushing down. And eh, whatever. It's definitely stronger though now, right? Strong. Okay, thumb and pinky, pulling apart. Don't let me. Oof. Not good. That lower neck right here certainly seems to be mm -hmm. a little bit of an issue. Yeah. Good. Thumb, pinky, ready. And again. No, not so much. Okay. So now I'm going to look at your thumb and wrist bones a little bit. Good. Thumb pinky, pulling apart. Much better, huh? Okay, good. Now we'll do that elbow muscle test. Ready, go. And not so good. Okay, so we'll adjust that one. This thing. Good. All right, relax that elbow of yours. Breathe out. Good. Ooh. Okay. Pull the elbow out this way. Don't let me. Ready? Go. So much, much stronger. Better. Cool. It's so much better. All right. Good. Yeah. You have a lot of tension there, don't you? That's where it hurts. I bet it does. No, well, good thing you're here. I'm going to have to get a little bit more aggressive with that guy. All right. Take a uh, deep breath for me. Breathe on out. Good. 
that didn't feel very comfortable. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. Uh, interlock your fingers, put your hands behind your head. Good. And then what I'm going to do is kind of reach on through here. All right, kind of move your hair a little bit. That's good there. All right, what I want you to do is bring your elbows together and put your chin down to your chest. Good. We'll kind of have you lift forward. Oops, sorry, I'm pulling on your hair. All right, and now look up. Good. Keep those elbows together. Hard. Good. Okay. Good. All right. How'd that feel? Interesting. Yeah, interesting at best. Yeah. Okay, now put your hands on top of your head. Uh, yeah, interlock is fine. We're going to bring you back like this. Good. Uh huh. Good. All right. Now you can go face down again. I felt like you were giving me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's better. So I'm feeling for any restriction or stiffness in the area. And that is terribly stiff, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Deep breath. Breathe on out. Good. All right. I'm going to do a muscle test where I push down like that. Don't let me do that. Ready? Go. Again. Not so strong. Let's do this one. Pushing that way. Ready? Go. Much stronger, yeah? Yeah. Turn on your side, this side up. So your hamstring, uh, in a lot of the nerves that supply the hamstring come out of L5, which is right here. So that's what I'm going to adjust, okay? Because we got to press a reset button on that area. Good. Deep breath. Breathe out. Pushing that way, don't let me. Ready, go. <laughs> Much stronger, huh? Much stronger. Cool. Now we're going to check something else. I want you to raise your knee up. Hold it right there. I'm going to push down into the table. Don't let me. Go. That's pretty strong. Good. Raise the knee up. Hold it right there. Pushing down. And that's not so strong, yeah? yeah. Okay, turn on your side. This side up. Yeah. Okay, deep breath. Breathe out. Ooh. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Face down. Raise your knee up. Pushing down to lemming. Much stronger, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Flip around on your back. All right, muscle test, pushing down. Don't let me do that. Ready, go. And again, not good. Other side. Pushing there. Ready, go. Much stronger. Okay, yeah. so we're going to have you turn. So is your rectus femoris muscle, one of your hip flexors that tested weak there. Okay. Uh, so what we're, we're going to do is manipulate your L2 segment. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, you comfortable? Yeah. Breathe out. I don't like it. I'm going to grab your rib cage. Okay. That hurt. Way in your back. Did I get you with my elbow? Uh, a little bit. Oh, no big deal. Pushing down. Don't let me. Ready? Go. Stronger. A lot better, huh? Okay. Mm. I'm going to push down and out. Okay. Don't let me. Go. Again. Ugh. Ooh. How about that in my knee? Yeah? Yeah. Down and out. Don't let me. Ready? Go. Very weak. Yeah. Bend your knees. Keep your knees together. I'm going to do a muscle test where I push them apart, so don't let me do that. Ready? Go. Again. Ready, go. Okay. Legs together over here. I'm going to pull it like that. Don't let me. I'm going to just stabilize this uh, leg as I pull it that way. Okay. Ready? Go. And again. Not so good. Pushing just this one this way. Okay. Don't let me. Ready? Go. Again. Stronger on this side than that side, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. When I played volleyball in college, I had some like very minor um, groin like strains, I think. Uh huh. So that that was like a minor injury that I had, but okay. 
That could be something okay, like coming that. Coming up. We're going to adjust one more segment in your low back. Breathe out. Good. Okay. Pulling this one towards me. Don't let me. Ready? Go. Definitely better, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one last thing I'm going to check. I'm going to spin your foot out like that. Okay. Resist me right here, okay? okay. Ready? Go. Rock solid. Very good. Mm -hmm. Spinning out here, don't let me. Ready, go. And again, that's not. No. Turn that way. I lied, one more. One more. Breathe out. Good. Lay on your back. Spin it out, don't let me. Go. Much better, huh? Cool. All right, I'm going to do some muscle tests here with your foot. So first, I want it up and in like that. I'm going to hold it up like that. I'm going to push like that. So don't let me do that. Ready? Go. Perfect. Now point and in. Hold it right there like that. I'm going to push from right there. Don't let me. Go. And that's weak, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's your uh, tibialis posterior muscle. Yeah. And your arch is very stiff. So I'll do a little manipulation right here, okay? Ooh. Good. Mm. So that was that joint right here. Mm -hmm. Oh man, then that's moving way better already. Yeah, I feel Point like and in, hold it right there. Push them right here, don't let me. Way stronger, yeah? Yeah. Up and out, hold it from right there. I'm pushing right here, don't let me. Rock solid. Pointing and out. Push from right there, don't let me. Go. And again. And that's. Wait, let's do it one more time. Go. No, that's fine. Regarding the dorsiflexion. Oh, man. And it's already way better. Yeah, I feel it. That's cool. That's crazy. Because that's one thing I notice if I try to, like sink down into a squat i feel like i'm very limited in my ankles yeah, yeah. all right so i'm going to do one more adjustment here where i kind of yank on you can you hold onto the table so i don't slide you yep good very good all right so still limited but much 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 better okay. all right we'll check out the other foot a foot up and out hold it there like that i'm pushing right here don't let me Rock solid, pointing and out. Push from right there, don't let me. Again. And that's weak, isn't it? Can you tell? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to do a cuboid adjustment here. Good. Point and out. Hold it right there. Push from right here. Don't let me. Better, yeah? Yeah, much better. Up and in. Hold it right there. Push from right here. Don't let me. Rock solid. Pointing and in. Push from right there. Don't let me. And that's not so good. Mm -hmm. So we're. I'm actually going to go at that same joint. Okay. Is it tender when it pressed there? No, not really. Okay. It doesn't like it like that. So, um, you think that's because of my bone spur? Yeah. 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 Hmm. So, I'm going to. And that hurts like hell, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. The arch of my foot's kind of hurting on that side a little bit. Yeah. Well, and then the heel. So, we got to do the uh, calcaneus thing. All right. So your heel is not everting very well. So we want to get that going because that will really open up your foot. So I'll evert it. And then I'll slam it down on, this is called a speeder board. It looks a lot more violent than it feels, right? And yeah, it doesn't already... feel like really anything. But your heel's already starting to evert better. Good. Okay. Are you hitting your own hand? I am. Ouch. <laughs> okay. 
So that's way better. How does the arch feel right now? It's a little tender, actually. Still? Yeah. Where? Right here? No, up a little bit more. Here? Yeah. Well, that makes sense because I just adjusted that, yeah. that joint, so I'm not surprised to hear that. Very good. All right, cool. Okay. Hate that. Flip around and face this way. Same thing? Uh huh. Make sure there's good bit of tension there. Good. This time, don't touch the stick. Ah! This. It's the. I feel like it's my feet. It's not. No. It's your ability to hinge. Okay. You're so used to going forward and flexing through your spine, you're not shifting your hips backwards properly. I think the light bulb went off with the uh, when we did the banded hip hinge, mm -hmm. uh, where when you had the dowel rod on your back. What was that exercise like for you? Um. So with the dowel rod, it was trying to make sure that it like kept contact, especially with my hips. Mm -hmm. Um. So I realized that I was bending forward a little bit too much in my hip hinge mm -hmm. rather than sinking my hips back as much as I could. Correct. Um, so I learned a lot with that. And then when we put the dowel rod in front of me, mm -hmm. it showed me that I was bending forward too much because I would hit the dowel rod yeah. instead of hinging back where I could stay away from the dowel rod. So. Perfect. That was beautiful. Do it again. Good. Now you're actually shifting through your hips. Don't lose that. And up. Good. I love this exercise for you. Banded hip hinge where you had to pull through uh, while engaging through that band. What was that like for you? Yeah. Um, it was different because I'm normally used to a banded pull through. Um, so. It definitely, which is the opposite direction. Which is the opposite, yeah. Uh -huh. So it definitely felt different, um, but it really made me focus on keeping my back engaged, but working through my hamstrings. Mm -hmm. So it made me focus more on the hinge a little bit more and not so much on using my back to hinge yeah, through. Good. Certainly. Okay, yeah. good. I think this would be a good prep for you before doing other stuff. Yeah. Okay, so that's our treatment. Amanda, what did you think? I feel really good. Yeah. I feel loose. I feel good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I feel like I learned a lot. Um, I thought it was awesome. I didn't even know that you could adjust certain things, so I learned that, and I learned a lot about my hip hinge. I think it was really cool that you worked from head all the way to my toes. Um, I've never had my feet adjusted or my ankles adjusted before, so that was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's really important because I think feet are just really important in general from the ground up. So, I agree. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Yeah. It was fun treating you. You can find Amanda at the House of Athlete in Weston, Florida. Don't forget to leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe to our page if you want to see our next Treatment Tuesday. Thanks so much.